from the 2019 Get Your Teach On National Conference. This is Get Your Teach On Live. Please welcome your host, Chris Pompano. Welcome, your Get Your Teach On presenters! They're hanging out back there on the stage. I want to see, presenters, how are you feeling right now? Tired? Is that tired? There we go, do you see them all sitting there? Rochelle, talk about the energy in this room right now. They, they can't hear me. Hey, Rochelle. They're just waving. It's okay. So, let, we'll just take these off right now. Please help me welcome Hope King and Amy Lemons. It's okay. It's okay. The stairs move. That's what happened to me too. It's all good. How y'all doing? Amazing. Wow. C could you not hear a thing I was saying up there? <laughs> not a word. They, they were just waving. They could not hear a thing with all these edgy rock stars in the background. Edgy rock stars make some noise. We have a live edgy rock star audience right now. They've been in breakout sessions and keynotes all day long. And they still have this energy yeah. right now. They have to be tired at this point. Pretty incredible, pretty incredible. So, Hope, talk about the pregame last night. Talk a little bit about what happened. The Edgy Rockstars that were here, over 4,000 teachers. How exciting was that? The pregame was unbelievable. Rachel Hollis came. Of course, we have 4,200 educators here. The energy is through the roof. But Rachel Hollis brought the house down last night. She spoke to our, right? She spoke to our teacher souls. She went through the whole, this is what I appreciate about her right here. She went through the whole birthing process <laughs> for everyone in this building. I life. really thought Hope life. was the one telling. I was like, this is Hope's life. It really is. And being a mom, and I'm like, yes, girl, speaking to my heart right now. Like she knew my birth story, no, no <laughs> joke. And so, I mean, it was just amazing. She talked about birthing children the whole time, right? Yeah, and all no. 22 guys I'm in kidding. the audience are like this. But I just loved how real she was. I loved how she brought it down to educators, fo focusing on us taking care of ourselves and recognizing that we pour so much into our students every single day. Teaching is an exhausting job, and you can't pour into others if you're not pouring into yourself. And so I love how real she was about it, how she didn't, you know, didn't ignore the fact that teaching is a difficult job, but how we are making a difference every single day. So, Now, Amy, one of the main messages from Rachel's keynote was that this is a community of teachers. They've gone out of their way to be here at the conference. There's something special about this community, and she really talked about that term community. Talk about the Get Your Teach On family and all of these edgy rock stars that are here. Yeah, I loved how she described it as a wolf pack. Like, nobody gets left behind. We're all here for each other. We're all on the same page, going for the same goals. And how you don't walk away from this the same. You walk away with new friends, with new coworkers, you know, make connections. And that's what the Get Your Teach On community is all about. Like, we're all in this together. We're all one big family. And it was just a blessing. And the magic doesn't end here. It's the community of teachers after the conference that really makes the biggest right. impact. Connecting. There's so many teachers here that came by themselves. And now they've already, just in the morning of day two, have a whole community of friends. They said, we've been online. We've been on Instagram. So that's what's so amazing about this community. Now, you said Wolfpack. Does that remind you of anything, Hope, from a certain Netflix show? Oh, the She-Wolf Pack? Yes. <laughs> Should what? we try it? So, do we have any Fuller House fans or Full House fans? 
Okay, so I'm gonna say, get your teach on, Wolfpack makes some noise, and you have to howl as loud as you can. Can you do that? Yeah, you can put up some ears if you want, okay. Get your teach on, Wolfpack, make some noise. Ow. That could be a thing. Wait, is it three fingers? Like, they knew it. They, it's this, oh, she knows. Okay, I, I'm not a fan, apparently. Okay, I, we'll try it one more time. Okay, okay got here it. we go. All right, all right. Get your teach on, Wolfpack, make some noise. Ow. There we go. Make some noise for Hope King and Amy Lemons. started from our 2019 National Conference. This is Get Your Teach On Live. If you're just tuning in right now, we have over 4,000 edgy rock stars in the house this week. And I don't know, do you think we should give away a registration to next year's National Conference? What do you guys think? So if you're watching at home and you want to be here next year, go ahead and share this live video right now on Facebook for your chance to win a free registration to next year's national conference. Now, we haven't announced the location of that. You can scream for that. There we go. There we go. They're about to share it. So if you're at home, you have some competition. So make sure you do it too. So, next year's National Conference location has not yet been announced, but if you tune in to Get Your Teach On Live Wednesday afternoon, you'll find out that next location. So, share this video right now for your chance to win a free registration to next year's National Conference. The magic is just getting started right now, but let's check out some of the magic from last night at the Get Your Teach On pregame. <laughs> That was just the beginning of the magic. These Edge of Rock Stars have been at keynotes and breakout sessions all day long. And one of the most impactful keynotes from the day didn't come from any adults. They came from two students who rocked this house. I'm talking about Niles and Mariah. Make your way down to get your teach on live. Here we go, make some noise. You might be sitting on it, buddy, it, or Mariah sitting on it. There's two. Mm -hmm. There we go. There we go. Make some noise for Niles and Mariah. Now, for those of you watching at home, Niles and Mariah brought the house down during their keynote this afternoon. Teachers, am I right? Talk about this experience, how the keynote went, what message you shared with the teachers today, and what message you have for the teachers watching at home. Mariah, we'll start with you. This conference means so much to me. I look at all of you guys and I see all the teachers that I wish I had in elementary school. So today when I was talking to you, I just wanted you to feel appreciated, to feel loved, and to know that everything you say and you do that really do have an impact on all your kids. 
Niles, what about you? Uh, well, I know this section that we got to speak in was called the ripple effect, but I wanted teachers to understand that they don't just make ripples, they make waves that change the course of history. And uh, although society doesn't say it, you guys do it anyway. So we love you for that. Now, there were over 4,000 teachers watching you, over 4,200 to be exact. How did that feel being up there and spreading your message to all these teachers who are now going to take it to heart and bring it back to their classrooms? What was that like for you? I really love experiencing new things, but honestly, I did not eat last night. I couldn't eat all day today. I was so nervous when you guys came in with all of that energy, all of my jitters went away. It was the most incredible experience. I mean, same here. I couldn't eat or sleep last night because I was so gassed up and excited for this. Uh, but just being here is unlike any other. And I think this has to be my favorite speech I've ever given and my favorite crowd I've ever been in front of because everybody was ready to bring it. So it's unimaginable. Like, nothing's like this. And this is your favorite live episode you've ever been on, right? Oh, most definitely. There we go, there we go. Without question. Well, you guys absolutely crushed it. I've been talking to teachers all afternoon that were blown away by the two of you. Just your message and how genuine you were. And I know it's a day that they'll remember forever. So thank you so much for being here, both of you. Give, some, give it up and make some noise for Niles and Mariah. Tune into last night's Get Your Teach On pregame live on the teal carpet. You know that there was a very special announcement that we promised we would bring to you tonight. I'm talking about a special announcement from our friends at Get Your Lead On. So please help me welcome two of our lead presenters from the Get Your Lead On session, Adam DeVico and Todd Nesloni. Oh boy. Oh boy, guys. Guys, did you not get the memo that we're wearing we're wearing jackets today? I'm already breaking things. Did you not um, get the email that you're what what do you want to explain these outfits that why, people watching at home? Why we're dressed up like this? Yeah, are you leading like a class after this for all the teachers? This, this is, just, is normal. This is just one day outfit. This, this is your Monday outfits. Of course. Okay, so we'll we'll just be casual and go with it, okay? Is that good? Sure. I'll okay, so tomorrow is Get Your Lead On with administrators here in Dallas. There's hundreds of administrators here that are ready to get their lead on. Talk a little bit about what's going to happen tomorrow. It's a full day session just for administrators on how to bring that Get Your Teach On magic, that rigor, that student engagement back to spread to their entire school campus and not just one classroom. So talk a little about what's in store with that. So there's no successful teacher without a successful administrator. You need to, that support. So when teachers come here to get your teach on, they have to feel supported when they get back. So in our session, we want to make sure that administrators are prepared to take their teachers back to their school and support them in the way that's going to benefit not just the students, but the entire school. Now, Todd, you have some special guests joining you tomorrow. Yes. Talk about who's joining you tomorrow and what administrators really can look forward to that they can directly bring back to their teachers, like Adam said. So we've got two of our friends joining us for the first time tomorrow, James and Onika, and I know they are going to be doing some great stuff with the people that are there, um, and us included. And so I'm, I'm ready to just give administrators things they can take back and implement immediately. Nothing that's too complicated, too difficult. Just eliminate those excuses to give them things right away to use. And you guys cover everything from academics to building a school community and everything in between, even some icebreakers that you could do to really energize your school and amp up that energy to make teachers want to come to school so their students want to come to school. So if you had to give one tip to administrators out there, what can they implement immediately to re-energize their teachers who may be burnt out or tired or anything like that? I think first and foremost, be present. You know, be in the classroom, be in the hallways, be the face in the, uh, in the school so the students know who they are, the, the teachers feel supported, and just by pure presence, people are going to naturally raise their energy and raise their passion and just become more dedicated to the school. Todd, what about you? I think for me it's just remembering that adults are just big kids. I mean, you can look at something like this and the adults are just having so much fun. Why as administrators can't we do that fun stuff with them at school too? Okay, now, 
I need a drum roll for my, you can cheer for that. There we go, I love that. I need a drum roll for my crowd in the back here of Edge of Rock Stars. Can you give me a drum roll? There we go, there we go, there we go. We have a special breaking news, get your lead on announcement. Get Your Teach On team is so proud of both of you and just the growth of Get Your Lead On in the last year or so. Has it only been a year? It, this is the one year anniversary. Yep. Yep. Happy anniversary! Thank you. <laughs> it must be the Sensei Ninja Warrior anniversary. Is that what it is? One year? Yeah, okay. So, go ahead and announce the special announcement you have for administrators for the future of Get Your Lead On happening this fall. So, in addition to continuing to present our Lead On session at Get Your Teach On, we are very proud to announce that Get Your Lead On will continue to present outside of Get Your Teach On in an independent conference, Get Your Lead On, and we have the first one ready to announce. Yep. Can we announce it? That's right. So the Get Your Teach On is bringing you Get Your Lead On outside of our traditional conferences. So this is going to be a Get Your Teach On sponsored event just for administrators. So the first date is already set. So Todd, tell us where you're gonna be and when and how they can register. So you may have seen a little teaser go out on Instagram a couple weeks ago, but September 27th, Get Your Lead On will debut at Austin, Texas. We just can't get enough of Texas, I guess. We love it, Texas. We love is Texas. it true that everything's bigger in Texas? Is that true? That's what I thought. So if you're interested in signing up for Get Your Lead On, the independent Get Your Teach On sponsored event happening this September, registration is going to open this Wednesday following our final session at this year's national conference. So save the date, September 27th. Adam, Todd, and some special guests they might bring. Can't wait to see you there. Thank you guys so much. Give it up for Adam DeVico and Todd Nesloni. John is so excited to have Really Good Stuff as our 2019 presenting sponsor. Really Good Stuff is creating magic for teachers throughout the nation and inspiring them to do more in their classroom. Check out this message from our friends at Really Good Stuff. You became a teacher because you dared to imagine how to help us all do our best. Imagine how to turn our struggles into success. You imagine how to protect us and support us. You make sure we have what we need. You make us believe in ourselves. And you help us to imagine who we can become. How we can help. And how we can make a difference in our world. Imagine what we could do together. Thank you, really good stuff for being Get Your Teach On's 2019 presenting sponsor. For more information about them, check them out on Facebook and at reallygoodstuff.com. Now, this national conference marks the Get Your Teach On debut of three Get Your Teach On newbies who have never been to this conference before. Please help me welcome James, Cassie, and Onika. I'm going to start with you. Last night on the teal carpet, as teachers were walking in, 
You were breaking it down, bringing the energy. Talk about what makes Get Your Teach On so unique. Oh my stars, where do you even start? First of all, I think that Hope and Wade need to rename this. This is not a conference, this is an experience. Yes, there we go, make some noise for that. Because what I think teachers are walking away with is an experience that's gonna change their lives and then change the lives of children. And that's why we're here. James, how about you? Talk about the energy of these teachers. I mean, they've been hyped up since they checked into the hotel with a line that was like miles and miles long. Till right now when they're like, we haven't eaten in a little while, we need a nap so bad, but we're still gonna scream, right? Woo! They're just bringing that energy. It's like no other. Talk a little bit about that. Man, it's indescribable. You know, I get the chance to serve educators each and every day. So it really doesn't surprise me. But after a long year, you can see how sometimes educators can be kind of drugged down by the system and some things that are coming at them. So it's so refreshing to see everybody here and just the energy and enthusiasm. I think it's so important to have these opportunities for teachers to, to get that recharge and to be with a group of like-minded individuals that really get it. If I had to describe this in a couple words, it's people that really get it. And so I'm honored to be here and excited to be part of it. I love that. Now, Cassie. Oh, Cassie Stevens, everybody. There we go, there we go. Can, can you show off this dress a little bit? Like, just show off that dress. Yeah, there we go. Oh, and the shoes she wants to tell. <laughs> Cassie, we were talking earlier backstage. You said you have never really worn jeans. You just wear your crazy dresses. Right. Is that true? It's true. It's true. Jeans are just not my thing. Crazy dresses are, which, you know, gets a little tricky when you're teaching art. But, you know, when you wear something this insane and art gets on you, it's all camouflage. It blends right in. So it works out perfectly. <laughs> Now, Cassie, you're doing a special, we've never had this before, you're doing a special art session with our teachers on how to integrate art into the classroom. What's in store for them tomorrow? I know art is your passion. I mean, 24-7, yeah. if there's more hours in the day, your art, 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 art. Well, I'm really excited because when I was growing up, I didn't have art in elementary school. And so um, what I relied on were classroom teachers who would bring art in because I bombed at reading and I bombed at math, but art was something that I could excel in. So that the fact that classroom teachers are going to do for their students what my teachers did for me means Say so it. much to me and I cannot wait to share with them. So. I, I, I can't wait. Say I mean, it. who else is excited for that? I'm so excited for the magic that you're gonna to bring to those sessions, and it's just about that. Everybody finding their passion and what they're interested in and pouring that into their students is the most important message that teachers can take away from this conference. So, get your teach on newbies. Now it's day two, you kinda of got it down. Is there anything you're still excited for this week? I mean, Cassie, you haven't presented yet, so I'm assuming you're excited about that. Yeah, I'm really excited. <laughs> <laughs> but what else are you guys excited for in the next two days? So, Onika and I get to ch at, join Adam and Todd tomorrow, right, for Get Your Lead On. Anybody going to be in Get Your Lead On tomorrow? So we're extremely excited about that, you know, because I firmly believe, you know, teachers, yeah, they do the most important work. They are the guardians of our society. But, like I said, oftentimes, if you don't have the leadership in place to pour into them and give them what they need, encourage them, support them, motivate them, and just have their back, Sometimes you can have great teachers that'll fall by the wayside and we ain't trying to lose nobody. So that's, that's our message tomorrow and we look forward to bringing that tomorrow. All right, Andrew Rockstars, give it up one more time for James, Cassie, and Onika. Make some noise and help me welcome to the stage, Kara, Amelia, and Britt.
right, guys. Kara Carroll is on Get Your Teach on Live, so any, anything can happen, right? Anything can happen. Very <laughs> and your biggest fan, my mom, is right here in the front row watching you. We're, you're adopting me, and the first thing I want you to make me is pasta. I'm super excited about it. Great. Talk about your session today, and you've only been to a few Get Your Teach Ons. This is your second one, correct? Maybe third? Third. This it's, is your third it's been already. A few. I think fourth. Time flat. Fourth? Fourth, third, third. Third or fourth. There I can't we go. even count. I know. It's just so, so I'm exciting. an English teacher. I don't know. So talk about the magic that you're bringing in your session and how Cassie was integrating art into her classroom. Talk about how you're going to integrate theater into these teachers' classrooms. Yeah, so I think there's so much to theater that we forget about that we can bring right into our classrooms, whether it is improv or dialogue or movement. But at the end of the day, it's something that unites our students and engages them, and it brings those standards to life in the classroom. Now, tomorrow morning, a new feature to our Get Your Teach On National Conference is our Get Your Teach On Unplugged keynote that you're going to be a part of. Talk about what's in store for these educators tomorrow and what message you're hoping to spread to them. Definitely. So just going off of that with standards and bringing them to life, it's crazy what happens when you take away the standards and you take away the test scores and the pressure and the decorations and you're left with you and your students. And I think it's important to remember that we as teachers are human beings and tomorrow's going to be really special. We are going to unplug and really open up about what we go through on a daily basis. Well, I know everyone excited for, excited for that group keynote tomorrow morning featuring Brent and an amazing team of Get Your Teach On presenters. So I'm so excited for that. Amelia, you were a part of our next level sessions today. You kick things off for the first time in Get Your Teach On history. Edgy Rockstar has had a choice to amp it up a little bit in some next level sessions. So you were partying like a reader a little bit. Talk a little bit about that next level session. Yeah, and it was really cool, because like you said, it's the first time we've done this, but it was so neat because educators chose to be in the room, and you would you just see that passion in every room, and of course, they brought it in the next level session. And we got to work with teachers who were ready to do some hands-on things, and I have to say, we asked them to do some crazy things, and of course, per usual, because we're teachers, and we're used to doing crazy things with our students, they jumped right in and crushed it. It was awesome. And not just teachers, edgy rock stars That's come right. to get edgy your teach on. There we go. Right. That's right. <laughs> All right, Kara, you closed things out today in the K-1 room. Yes. And you've been part of Get Your Teach On for what seems like years now. Talk about how the conference has grown since the first conference till now. What has changed for you? Well, I don't know. Just the energy is, it's even more palpable than it was before. It is electric. It is so inspiring. It's so great because I think during the school year, we have the tendency to, you know, like Rachel was talking about last night, you are, um, you're drained at the very end of the, you know, at the very end of the year. I mean, even through points through the year, you're just so drained. And this is just such a wonderful chance to just fill you back up in so many different ways. But it's just also, I've also seen the family grow. And not just between presenters, but like with y'all too. I mean, like, it is, it's true. Group it's, air hug, group air hug, there we go. And, you know, I just, I remember when it was, you know, like um, a couple of rooms, like uh, two, like two rooms a long time ago. And now I'm like, oh, there's 4,200 people. This is fantastic. You know, so I don't know, it's just, it's, the core of it remains the same. I mean, everybody is here for teachers, but not just for teachers. We're here to become better teachers so that we can, you know, engage our students and create, you know, the future of tomorrow. And so the core of it has definitely remained the same, but our family's just gotten bigger. I love that. Our family has gotten bigger. Make some noise to our magic makers up here, Amelia, Britt, and Carol. magic of what happened today during day two of our national conference. This just in, check it out. Teach on, how you feeling this morning? Who's ready for some breakout session?
if you want to join the Get Your Teach On family, we want to see you at an upcoming Get Your Teach On location. Visit GetYourTeachOn.com for our next three locations, including New England, Los Angeles, and Houston, and our soon-to-be-announced 2020, can't believe I'm saying that, National Conference next summer. To close things out, please help me welcome to the stage, Wade King and Katie Mullins. Talk about rock stars. How about these two rock stars right here? This morning, the Get Your Teach On team kicked it off with a really exciting number that you two kind of changed the words to a familiar song. Katie, talk about how we kicked things off this morning. Well, you know, Get Your Teach On, we can't, we can't do anything low key. We have to ramp it up and get teachers excited to kick off our first full day of the conference. And so we just, we rocked out on stage a little bit. That was probably the hardest rewriting to a song that we have ever done. Like it took us, how many hours? Like four, four hours to rewrite that song. But what was really cool is everybody up there on stage, they bought, like the cool thing about Get Your Teach On is everybody that's part of this team just buys in to these crazy, silly ideas and they really go for it. So thank you guys up there. And the best part is, your audience is just as crazy, because the teachers are even crazier. Yes. That's right. Am I right? <laughs> so you had your first session today on integrating music into the classroom. Wait, talk a little bit about what those teachers went through, and for those teachers that are here, that are going to be in that session throughout the week, what do they have to look forward yeah, to? Um, Katie and I just wanted to um, just empower the teachers to be able to learn how to write songs themselves. We can look on the vocabulary, you can look on YouTube and get content-based songs or whatever you need for your classroom, but what if you're teaching content that there's no music for? And so Katie is a genius and I am bowing to her all of the time. Can, can we just all do a little bow down for Katie Mullins and her musical skills? I mean, I'm blown away every single time. I'm like, so, Katie, just sing every day for me, please. Can you record something every day for me? I know, and, and she, she will if you I ask know, her. I know, she, she will. will. Um, but it, it was really cool because we, I've done this music session for a while now, but having her on board has just taken it to a totally different level. She's bringing things to the table that I never even thought of um, because she is a genius, and it works. So, Give it up for Katie Mullins and Wade King. Now... Not yet, not yet, sorry. I just, I just wanted to hype you up a little bit. She's it's ready okay. to run now. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Katie's as red as like a tomato. I don't know. That's the first the red thing I thought of. So, Katie, talk about what's in store for the rest of the week for these teachers. What can they have to look forward to? But don't give too much away. What do they have to look forward to? Well, just some more incredible sessions. Some great keynotes in here, as they mentioned, the unplugged coming up and then there might be some surprises there might be a surprise there might be, a there surprise. Might be. you never know you never know so if you want to know about the surprise you're gonna to have to tune in on wednesday for that episode of get your teach on live but wait i really want to talk about what we talked about earlier the the roots of this conference. It's about student engagement. It's about creating a party atmosphere here, but it's about that content and that rigor. So talk a little bit about that and how that's infused in every single session and what teachers walk away with. Yeah, I mean, we, we have four, over 4,000 educators here. And one thing that we, we hit on almost the whole entire conference is matching rigor with engagement. We're all about getting the kids to want to come to school instead of them having to come to school. It's really sad when kindergartners are going to school and they're complaining they have to walk into the school building. We need to get them in there. We need to get them excited about learning, but it's not only about having a party and having pizza. I mean, we could do that, and they would be super excited, but they wouldn't learn a doggone thing. Doggone, that's what we say in South Carolina, doggone thing. Um, so um, teaching or talking to the teachers and encouraging them to match that rigor, that deep content into the creative lessons is the key. That's the magical component and being consistent with that. So that's what this conference is all about. That's what we've stayed true to, bringing on awesome presenters 
awesome, even our magic squad, like our magic squad who help hold this whole conference down. Can we hear for the magic squad? Like, volunteer, like, hun like there's like a hundred of them, teachers all around the United States who come here who are geniuses in their craft and teaching and, and, and in their classrooms and engaging their students, and they're here to serve you guys. So it's just awesome to be surrounded by all of that, um, but yes, definitely rigor engagement. And I think if someone might see a video of last night or any of the sessions, they might say, oh wow, there's a lot of lights, there's a lot of, it's a, it's a party atmosphere, but why wouldn't we want to build up education and make it a party atmosphere paired with that content? So you can have great content and all that engagement, and that's when that magic happens. So give it up for all you Edge Rock stars who are here bringing that content and that magic every single day. Give it up one more time for Wade King and Katie Mullins. All right, that's a wrap for tonight's episode of Get Your Teach On Live. Make sure you share this episode for your chance to win a free registration to next year's national conference. And you rock stars, did you have a good day today? All right, keep that noise going. The party's just getting started. We'll see you next time on Get Your Teach On Live. See you soon.